Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 9.35 on the 20th of December, 2023, a day nearer to Christmas Day. Towns are beginning to get packed. Seems to be plenty of money in the country, as as people people will be saying that there's a shortage of money. I can't see it anyway. I was in a couple of towns today, all the car parks full. The only thing I was a bit pissed off about in car parks was well able fit people parking in disabled car parking slots shouldn't be done it should be but there's no guards or there's no one in, in the no they won't get a ticket but it's bad manners as well as being against the law um shops are full the any shop i was in today was packed um so uh i was getting a few bits knives and forks plastic knife and forks and uh, plates and uh serviettes and trays and such things for christmas day so a shout out to mike merton from ballyvahan who sent on money today very generous of you and uh, niall mcnulty in london i met niall when he was over there when i was over to see terry woods and he was very helpful to me um top class guy and tony murray sent some money as well on uh, the super thanks i see Sorry, Tony, I didn't get around to thank you yet, but I'm thanking you now. Tony's in Boston. Um, but a few running, three runs today, uh, could have been so close to being a really good day because the two that last uh, traded odds on in running, um, the first one was Latitude. Latitude ran a tremendous race, I thought given nearly two stone to the winner and over a stone to the uh, third horse who I thought was between them two uh, handicapping it um, because the winner was five pound out of the handicap and normally if you're five pound out of the handicap you know you're you're on the back foot but uh, has won four times at the track uh, shrewdly placed by the shrewdy Ian Williams, 14's into what, 32 or 7 to 1. Great ride, I thought, from uh, from Sammy Twist out in front. And uh, even when it was passed, it ran on gallantly. Just, uh, it, I was I was a bit hard and disappointed or annoyed for the horse at the horse. It, you know, only beaten half a length, giving so much weight away to a horse like that. Um, probably beating small to be carrying 11 stone 13. Maybe up in class and down in weight, uh, we'll see a little bit more of that horse. Um, and then another horse that traded uh, odds on in running was Theatre Man. Battle of the Harrys, Cobden and Bannister. I think the Harry Cobden man gave him a lesson in race riding. He got the rail on a big powerful horse, put the smaller horse on the outside. He should have reversed when he got the chance. He should have got in at the very start of the race even and should have reserved a little bit of powder he should have pumping it on when he did and uh, run out of puff and the stronger bigger horse uh, bet him up the stretch and then our gallant sam rogue that's five times it has won for us uh, it was probably his best run today uh, broke uh, smartly from the stalls and Got into great position, come round the turn for home. And then the door closed and I said, oh shit. But the door opened fairly rapid and she went through it with gusto. And she ran on. Uh, what a little, uh, what a mare. And, and uh, it's only rated 61. I, I can't see him putting her up more than four pounds. So if he puts her up four pounds, she can still race in that uh, category. Uh 65 and she'll be carrying top weight again but she's she's proven to do it uh and even when she goes up to the next band she'll be carrying lighter weight a bit but um she's smart she's grand that's six times she has won for the owners to get a great spin out of her but um the power of money for the favorite he showed nothing we had 20 pound or 22 pound of a swing i couldn't understand but i read today then somewhere that the trainer of that senado square said that he was um, training like a 90 rated horse. Well, he didn't do it today, thank God. Anyway, 
on to tomorrow. Uh, I thought I went through at first last car done before uh, at one picked out before I seen to the abandoned. I went through Exeter and I thought uh, the best bet on the card was uh, enjoy your life in the 355. It was 9 to 4 earlier. Um, if you look at the form of this horse, it was in France, brought over by Venetia. It's only 6. It won't be turning 7 until New Year's Day. But it won over uh, fences in France on very soft ground. And three spins over hurdles in uh, England in uh, the spring of this year in March, April and May oh, I got a rating of what it was one ten going in first time over fences at two and a half mile second to Hule Goat who's a good good yardstick but then just stepped up and trick trip over uh, course and distance and it done it well. Rated that uh, that day one fourteen. It's gone up seven pounds. And there's two of the horses that was behind it that day that shouldn't turn around the forum, even though it went up and trip. It's in the green on the outside as we pick it up. And a ride from James Best. Now these have kicked clear then of the others. These six of the other two have just begin to languish a bit as they come up towards the home straight now and they've got four more fences left to take here in the Gerald George Lacey Memorial handicap chase it looked a good race on paper it promises to be a, a pretty thrilling finish here I suspect run to Milan is rallying on his favorite track to challenge Mumbo Jumbo still travels well don't rule out enjoy your life he's still in there with every chance they're racing a little bit apart from the two leaders this is four out now Mumbo Jumbo, run to Milan and enjoy your life. The three of them locking horns with Atlanta Brave behind them. Three out they go and again little to choose between them. Digging deep here, all three of them coming up towards the second last. Enjoy your life, seems to have a little bit in hand, just shows alongside Mumbo Jumbo. Run to Milan looks beaten. Atlanta Brave has gone third now. Coming up towards the final fence. Enjoy your life and Mumbo Jumbo, enjoy your life with a lead of about a length here. One good jump he's over it clear by two now enjoy your life and charlie deutsch for the informed venetia williams team is scampering clear on the run in here to build on that good comeback at wing canton and enjoy your life and enjoy it if you if... well it's snug enough that uh, there's uh, one horse that's uh, jubilee express and uh, sammy twist and davis stays with it instead of riding one for his dad and uh, but it ran in his first chase race um, ran bad Jubilee Express but the owner uh, Di uh, Walters doesn't have any bad stock um, it was 4th of 7 beating 37 lengths but that's the only one I mean that has to be improving at that because it was second behind Broadway Boy in a handicap hurdle off 118 uh, it was pushed off up £4 for it but on what we have seen, if that runs like it did the last day, that should be fierce competitive. Uh, I was looking at Chelmsford, I could see nothing. I was trying to get some angle in the, the one mile six race, but there was three or four and was, I, I, I could pick the wrong one. But I thought the two mile race at Southern, it's two mile and half a furlong. Um, there's a horse there and I can't understand, what, there's a big gamble on it. But I don't know that a bookies gamble is Caldwell. It was nine to two earlier, and it has changed years recently. It's gone to um, Ivan Furtado from Lucinda Russell, and it was with Michael Scudamore before that. But his first run the last day, it only beat one home. It was the Laird was bet out of it, and and uh, I know it was um, high seventies before. But on, unless it's, I don't know, I, I'm only going on, and I can only pick on what I've seen. So I had to discount that. Um, easy, equation, easy equation as well. That uh, has changed years, hasn't it? As well. Oh, 
or they're going to tell us whether it has or not. It has. It's gone from Stan Moore to Charlie Fellows. Uh, it had a, a nice run before when it was a uh, beat Russian rumour, who was no slouch. But I'm paying four places. Cold Henry, a four year old. For Sally Inder now, she has no win lately, but she has had a few places, a second, a third, and a fourth in the last 14 days. And if you go back and look at that, it won on softish ground. She actually beat, uh, we had backed also oh, Sheik. Um, like, it was only a three year old that time. But a solid form there all year, and it has one run uh, at a mile six on the surface. And I think the step up in triple suit. It ran pretty well that day. Um, it was a seven to one shot. And
She had hoof prints on her forehead and incriminating claws max on her back. Boom, boom, boom. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. A walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're all so proud of Grandpa. He's been taking this so well. See him in there watching football, drinking beer and playing cards with Cousin Mel. It's not Christmas without Grandma. All the family's dressed in black. And we just can't help but wonder, should we open up our gifts or send them back? Boom, 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 Grandma got run over by a reindeer. A walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe a boom, boom, boom. Now the goose is on the table. And the pudding made of fig, and the blue and silver candles that would just have matched her hair on Grandma's wig. I've warned all my friends and neighbors, better watch out for yourselves. They should never give a license to a man who drives a sleigh and plays with elves. Boom, boom, boom. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. A walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Boom, boom, boom. Ho, ho, ho! Happy Christmas. Bash the bookies over and out.